Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about velocity of a ball like a spherical ball after having n number of the collisions with a solid floor. It is like this. Let us consider a body who is initially in the state of rest falling from a certain height and striking a solid floor. So by the time it strikes the floor, it acquires some velocity u. Then there is a collision. Body bounces back. While it is bouncing back, it will bounce with a different velocity, say v1. Again it falls and bounces back with a velocity v2. We want to calculate it. Keep on happening. After n collisions, what is the velocity of the body? That's what we are supposed to find out. So this obviously depends on coefficient of restitution. As you have already learned, as we have explained in the previous video lessons, coefficient of restitution is defined as ratio of relative velocity of the separation after the collision to the relative velocity of the approach before the collision. In this case, the second body is the solid floor, who is in the state of rest before and after the collision. That means, velocity of the second body before and after the collision is equal to 0 that is v2 after the collision u2 before the collision for the second body is in the state of rest 0. So e equal to 0 minus v1 by u1 minus 0 that is minus v1 by u1 but this v1 and u1 being in opposite direction if one is treated as positive, other has to be treated like negative. So, minus v1 by u1, minus and minus will cancel. So, I can simply express coefficient of restitution is velocity of the body immediately after the collision to the velocity of the body just before the collision because simply the second body is in the state of rest. So, taking case 1. Velocity of the body just before the collision u1. Let me assume it like u, like we have assumed here. Let the velocity of the second body immediately after the collision is v1 itself. Substituting in the formula e equal to v1 by u. That implies v1 equal to e into u. This is during the first collision here. Here, what I have written is here, first collision. Here is the second collision. Let's write the same during the second collision. Case 2. During the second collision. Velocity just before the collision is V1. Velocity immediately after the collision is V2. This is what we have taken. Just before the collision, it has a velocity V1. It has bounced back. It has a velocity V2. Right? So it has bounced back with a velocity V1 and striking back with a velocity V2. Then coefficient of restitution will become V2 by V1. That implies v2 equal to e v1 but I want to express it in terms of initial velocity of the body just before the collision. From equation number 1 in the place of v1 I can write u u therefore v2 equal to e power 2 into u. So if you notice after the second collision e power 2 into u after the first collision e power 1 into u. So if you consider the 
third collision or another collision say case 3 during third collision let us assume velocity just before the collision is v2 velocity immediately after the collision is v3 so coefficient of restitution as for the definition is v3 by v2 that implies v3 equal to e v2 but you already know v2 equal to e power 2 times of u so in the place of v2 e power 2 times of u that implies v3 equal to e power 3 times of u so after the third collision velocity is e power 3 so for each collision the same power is coming first collision e power 1 second collision e power 2 third collision e power 3 therefore i can write in general after n collisions velocity of the body is Vn equal to e power n into u. u is the initial velocity with which the body strikes the floor just before the collision and n is the number of the collisions. This is the expression for the final velocity of the body after n number of collisions. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.